I wanted to improve my audio setup, but I had no idea where to start. If you'd like to skip to a specific section of this video, I'll have timestamps in the description below. First, it really helps to have an end goal in mind. In my case, I wanted to use a phantom powered condenser mic, control the volume input for my PC, and send a microphone input separately to Discord. That way, while I'm playing a game, my friends, or whoever else I'm talking to, won't be able to hear my game audio. Ultimately, I decided on an analog setup. You can use a USB mixer as well, but your setup was slightly different from mine. So you won't be able to follow this guide to a T, but hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. Whichever mixer you do choose, just make sure that it has an aux send or an effect send, because if you want to send your audio separately to Discord like I did, you'll be needing that. Make sure that your PC has a line in, a microphone in, and an optical out. If you don't have an optical out, that's okay, you can use the line out instead. If you're going the USB mixer out, also make sure they have an open USB port too. For microphones, I really like the Blue Ember, as it sounds great out of the box. But you also might want to consider the Audio-Technica 2020 or Audio-Technica 2035. The 2035 sounds a bit better for voice and includes a nice shock mount, but of course it's a bit more expensive than the 2020. If you're a bit more on a budget, then there are many other condenser microphones on Amazon from the $30 to $50 range. As for mixers, I went with a Mackie Mix 8 since I'm going the analog route. If you want to go USB, check out the Behringer 802 USB. And if you'd like a really nice mixer, check out the Yamaha MG10XU. For everything else, you'll need a boom arm, a pop filter, a shock mount if your microphone doesn't include one, various audio cables, and a DAC. Keep in mind, some boom arms do include a cheap shock mount. While it's not the best, it will work. It will not work with the Blue Ember though. You'll need a different one, which I'll link below. If your PC has an optical out, we'll be using a DAC. If not, you'll need a 1 8 to TS cable for your line out. So, why are we using a DAC? What we're trying to do is help prevent ground loop. Ground loop is essentially a constant hum or buzzing noise that can get mixed into your main audio. Plug the RCA into the DAC. Then plug the optical cable on the other side. Don't forget to plug in the power as well. This DAC requires a 5 volt, 1 amp charger. I'm using an extra Apple charger that I had on hand. If you don't have a charger, there will be a link in the description for one. Make sure your mixer is unplugged and that your levels are set to infinite. I'm going to be plugging these in from left to right, but you can plug them in at any order you like. Plug in the XLR cable from your microphone into the mixer. Then plug the RCA to 1 quarter TS cable from the DAC into line 3-4. Next, if you have speakers, plug in the 1 quarter to 1 8 Y splitter into CR out. If you need it, plug in the 1 quarter to 1 8 adapter into phones. Plug in the 1 quarter TRS to 1 8 cable into aux send. Plug in the 1 quarter to 1 8 breakout cable into main out. Having good cable management can help with interference, and by keeping our cable links less than 10 feet also helps a bit with interference as well. Yes, these cables can go longer than 10 feet if you have to, but try to keep them as short as possible. Try to separate your audio cables from your power cables too. Your XLR cable, however, can go much longer if you need to because it's a lot less acceptable to interference. Plug in the 1 8 cable from your aux end into the ground loop isolator. Then, the ground loop isolator into microphone in. I'm using a ground loop isolator because I notice a slight hum on my microphone input. However, this may differ from your system. Next, plug in the 1 8 in from your main out into line in. Lastly, plug in the optical cable into optical out or also known as SPDIF. And if you're using line out instead of optical, plug in the 1 8 in from the breakout cable on your line input 3 4 on the mixer into line out on the back of your PC. You should see a power indicator or LED of some sort in your mixer. You'll want to keep your CR phone's volume down for now. Go ahead and turn on the phantom power. Then bring up the volume knob on input 1 to unity. When I use phantom power, I like to set my level to infinite first before turning it on or off. When I'm not using my mic, I keep phantom power off. Now set your gain on your mic to unity. Your mic gain will vary, so you'll have to dial that in. I won't go into too much detail about mixing, but put simply, gain is distance, or how far your mic can reach, and level is your volume. 
Typically for best signal to noise ratio, we'll want our gain around unity. Try to avoid setting your gain too high as well. Next, turn up the line level on 3.4, which is your PC input, to unity. Then set the main mix volume to unity. For the aux sends, only set your mic and the aux master to unity. Keep the rest at infinite. When you need to adjust your volume for Discord, you will adjust the aux level in line 1. A note on aux sends for this mixer, they are post fader, which means if your level's down for any input, it won't send audio. So, make sure that your level is set right. Some aux sends are pre-fader, some are post-fader. Lastly, set your phone CR to a low level to avoid any potential loud sounds before we set up our levels and drivers and windows. First, before we set up our programs, make sure that you download and install the Realtek drivers from your motherboard manufacturer. If you try to use the default Windows drivers, you won't be able to use the microphone and line input at the same time. At least that was the case for me. So, after you've downloaded and installed the Realtek drivers and restarted your system, just hit Windows key and type in sound. Then, you'll scroll until you find Realtek Digital Output Optical. There may be two, but you'll want the one that says optical, Set that as default, then hit Properties, then go to Levels, and defaultly it may be set at 100%. We do not want this. We want to avoid what's called channel clipping. So we'll set this at 50%. It may be a little tricky. There we go. If you are like me and prefer decibels instead of a volume, just right click on Balance and hit Decibels. And you'll see decibels right there. Then we'll just hit OK. Then let's go to Recording and find Line In. Also set that as default, Properties levels again and defaultly it might be set at a plus number like mine's plus 12. We also don't want this because it's boosting the signal on the PC side which means we're boosting a signal on something that has worse preamps than our mixer. If we want more volume we'll just up the volume on our mixer. So we want to uh, bring this down until we hit zero decibels. About right there. There we go. Just hit OK and then hit OK. To set up your mic in Discord, first go to your settings, then go to voice and video, change input device from default to microphone, Realtek, and then output device from default to Realtek digital output. And if you hit let's check, you should see a level here. In OBS, go to settings, then go to audio. And for all of these devices here, Change it from default to disabled. Once you've done that for all of them, click apply, then click OK. Then go down here and click on this little plus icon. And then go up to audio input capture. You can name this however you want. I like to name my mixer. Then change device from default to line in Realtek. Then click OK. And once you've done that, you should see some levels from your mixer. And this audio slider here, leave it at zero decibels as any audio level adjustments we need to do, we'll be doing on our mixer. And now the audio for stream should be much better. I'll have everything you need in the description below. They are Amazon affiliate links, however, so I do get a bit of a kickback from it, but it really helps my channel grow, so I appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your question the best I can. Follow my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash homeless elite. And subscribe to my YouTube channel here as I plan to upload much more random content for my streams and maybe some more how-to videos. That's all I have for you now. I'll catch you all later.